The GPU market is currently really bad, but today we're going to tell you some cards that you can actually still buy. They're not going to be the highest in GPUs, but they're going to be graphics cards that can play most games at 1080p and even 1440p at decent prices. And we're going to tell you more about our recommendations after a word from today's sponsor. It's no secret that GPUs are hard to buy right now, especially for good and fair prices. That's why if you want to maximize your savings, you should check out today's video sponsor, Jawa.gg. Jawa is one of our favorite sites to shop for PC hardware, pre-builds, peripherals, and more at incredible prices. There's no shortage of selection. With 2,000 plus listings, it's always possible to find a banger deal. One of my favorite finds from today in the GPU section is EVGA RTX 3070 for just $265. And if you're in the market for a gaming PC, the pre-built section is filled with super aesthetic options that are also packed full performance for the price. For example, this RTX 4060 and Ryzen 5 3500 PC for $889 is super solid. To do some deal hunting yourself, be sure to check out Jawa.gg today, and if you end up shopping around, use code TOSI10 to save 10% off your order up to $10. And don't forget, if you happen to find any crazy deals, leave a comment down below. Now, let's get back to the video. Now some of these cards are going to be new, some are going to be used because of course the used market's always going to have pretty much every card available, but just some of the prices we don't recommend paying, so we're going to let you know which ones are new and which ones are used, starting off with the budget category. So for the first budget card, it's not the 7600, it's actually the 6600. So the RX 6600, they still produce brand new, believe it or not. You can get them for around 199 to 210 bucks, and these are awesome cards because they have 8 gigs of GDDR6, and they can handle 1080p really well. They usually have four display outs, you can get them in two and three fan variants, and they're overall just a great card. Typically AMD is going to have the slightly better bang for buck when it comes to just raw FPS performance, and when you're comparing to one of the other cards we'll talk about from NVIDIA in a second, the 6600 is a pretty awesome choice. Now a card that a lot of people don't like, but we find a use case for it here on the channel, is the RTX 3056 gig, coming in around $169 to $179. This is a good new option, again, new option for people who want an NVIDIA GPU, and it's also really good, mainly the use case we recommend it for, for upgrading old office computers. If you're really not wanting to spend a ton of money, you want an NVIDIA GPU, and let's say you built a PC right now and you're waiting to snag a new 5070, 5080, 5090, or whatever new GPU comes to the market and then replace it later, then maybe you don't really need to spend more than $179 on GPU like this. And I would say, again, this is a good new option. Diving used will definitely yield you better price performance, but if you are somebody who doesn't want to buy used and worry about getting a lemon, you definitely can buy new here with a 3056 gig, and it'll get the job done for 1080p medium settings gaming in most titles. Now next up is one of my favorite cards, the RX 7600. So this is just the better version of the 6600. It still has eight gigs of GDDR6. It still has around four display outs, but this card, you get a good performance uplift. So we're talking around 20% more performance over the 6600. And in some games, that's a lot of FPS. I love this card because it can do 1440p. Yeah, it is a pretty cheap card coming in at like 250 to 279. But the fact that you can do 1440p and actually get good FPS is pretty awesome. And it also also has things like FSR built in, so FSR 3.0, FSR 1, depending on what game you're playing, can get you way more FPS. It's kind of like NVIDIA's upscaling. Now one card we couldn't go without mentioning because it is one of the best new value GPUs right now you can actually buy in stock, is the Intel Arc B570. Now it does run you about $229 to about $240, and it is a decent amount slower than the B580, which we'll talk about here in a second, but it does come with 10 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, and at the $200 price point, there really isn't a ton of options options new that come even close to the performance level of this graphics card. So if you do pick up this GPU, you really have no problems playing games at 1080p high settings and get 60 plus FPS or even stretch into light 1440p gaming. Now, obviously, if you could find it in stock, the Intel Arc B580 is also a great option. 12 gigs of VRAM, a much better option versus the 4060 as long as you pair with the right CPU. And we've done a lot of build videos on the B580 and B570 and what CPUs you should pair with those. So definitely check those out on the YouTube channel if you haven't seen them already. But you definitely should be careful when looking for B580s at what price you pay. Do not pay scalper prices for this GPU. The most you should pay is around $260. Paying $300 makes no sense whatsoever. And we'll talk about another GPU at $300. that makes a little more sense for NVIDIA fans, but you definitely gotta be careful not overpaying for this GPU just purely based on the hype. It's a great card, but you don't wanna overspend. Now, a card that you might want to buy right now because they're probably going to stop making it very soon is this right here, the RTX 4060. Uh, it is the 40 series card minus the 4060 Ti that's actually still available right now that you can buy new. NVIDIA kind of has a problem, and I won't go too deep on it, but NVIDIA has a problem where they release a new gen of card and they totally stop production of the previous gen, unlike AMD with the RX 6600 or 7600. No matter what GPU they release, they normally keep one or two generations still in production, and it most likely is planned. They are slowly 
stopping production of these GPUs. And the last one remaining is the 4060 Ti and 4060 coming in at $299, 8 gigs of VRAM, very comparable to something like the RX 7600. It's a bit slower, but it does have access to DLSS features and all the 40 series features that you guys know and love. Again, not the best bang for buck card, but if you're wanting to say, oh, I don't know, want to spend a little more than a 3056 gig, because you're like, I want a little more performance for a placeholder card, the RTX 4060 is a good option to consider, and the prices hasn't changed that much on them, even with the shortages going on right now. Now, next up, we have the 7700 XT, which is going to fill that kind of mid to high end void from AMD. So it's basically a step up above this card, and it's a really big performance jump. You're getting 12 gigs of GDR6 VRAM, you're getting four display outs, and uh, for 1440p, this card is amazing. So you definitely can do 1440p, you can play native, you don't even have to use upscaling, and you can usually get 144 FPS in pretty much any game that you want to throw at it. And this card is pretty good, usually around like the $400 point, but I will say it does come in and out of stock a lot. So you really got to pay attention to the current market in order to obtain one of these. Now one weird card that I don't expect to be around a lot, but even checking before filming this video today, they were still available, is the RX 6800. It's very similar to the 7700 XT. It's a generation older and is in stock right now from some older models like XFX for around $400, a little more than $400, which if you can't find the 7700 XT and you want an equal GPU, again, is a generation older, that would be a good alternative. And for those who really love VRAM, for whatever reason, you'd be fine with 12 gigs, but if you really love extra VRAM, VRAM. This one does come with 16 gigs of VRAM. And uh, yeah, it's an older card, but still 1440p ready, FSR friendly, does a very good job playing games without FSR. So it's a really good option to consider as well for those looking for a true 1440p GPU. And then really the highest in card that you can actually get pretty much right now, uh, if you go check your current market, is the 7900 XT. Now this card is closer to that $750, sometimes even a little more price range, but I will say the cards like the 5070 Ti and above, you're paying I would say like 30 to 100% over what the MSRP should be. However, this AMD card is still staying pretty true to what the price should be for the card. So just keep an eye out in places like Best Buy, Walmart, Newegg, Amazon, and you can probably find one of these cards. But you're definitely gonna be able to get into 1440p and even some 4K. Now, sadly, these are the main GPUs we recommend you look for right now, at least for the next couple months as the new cards start to come to the market. Obviously, things like the 4060 are gonna cease to exist at some point and an inevitable 5060 will enter the market and hopefully inventory of that generation of GPUs is better to where we can do a whole new video about the best GPUs you can purchase and they're easy to get. But right now, it's a bit difficult and I know you guys are probably struggling to figure out what GPU to upgrade to, especially if you waited till this point in the year to build your first PC and uh, I feel bad for you guys if you did. So unfortunately, hopefully you guys have good like deal hunting and if you do want to deal hunt yourself links in the description down below are affiliate links and they will help us out let us know if you've had any luck getting graphics cards that were mentioned in this video or other ones that weren't mentioned in this video and what your plan is for 2025 to build your perfect gaming pc and as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey we'll see you guys on the next one bye bye now, with graphics cards getting harder to find, you may be better off just going to somewhere like PCBros.Tech for a fully built gaming PC with a graphics card. PCBros.Tech, pre-built gaming PCs might be the way to go for you guys if you can't find a graphics card to build your first PC, and we got you covered with our one-year warranty and good prices, and you can save even more money with code TOSTYBROS on checkout. You'll save 3%. It saves you much more money than you might think. See you guys later. Goodbye.